Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel here. My name is Jesse and I want to talk about Mando Mondays. Uh, technically Mando Tuesdays for us down here in Australia, just due to the time zone difference. Um, but this is an ongoing thing, Mando Mondays, plural Mondays, um, where we're going to be getting a slew of new, new announcements every Monday. Um, again, Tuesday for us here in Australia. Uh, tie-in merchandise and all sorts of stuff for The Mandalorian being that it airs in literally three sleeps. That's end of this week. I can't wait. October 30, season two, bring it on. I'm I'm so hyped. This feels like a cinematic release. Um, that's the level of hype that I have for it at the moment. It's incredible. I'm so pumped. I just finished like my 10th or 11th or something rewatch of season one and that's, it just never gets old. I love it so much. But we're here to talk about toys. Um, I'm going to stick with Hasbro. Uh, for the most part, they did reveal some new vintage collection figures um, from The Mandalorian. Some retro collection, a whole wave of retro collection figures, which is actually pretty cool. I know a lot of people are a little bit hum har about it. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to them. Um, I know they haven't showed the card backs, but we've got some images to show show you here, so we'll jump into that in just a moment. Um, a couple of Black Series additions to the line, which are pretty exciting. Um, they've, I think they've been pretty much known about for a little while now, um, but it's nice to see some images of what they exactly are. And uh, we're going to take a look at the final paint job on the Razor Crest, the Haslab backed uh, big vintage collection Razor Crest, which is going to be super impressive. And uh, I'm absolutely blown away by that thing. Um, so I'll probably drop the uh, drop some photos or a video in the video here. So stay tuned and uh, we'll jump into it. All right, so we'll just kick off with some Black Series. We'll get those couple of reveals out of the way and then we'll bring the scale down. We'll get into the vintage stuff. So we'll start off with the uh, Biker Scout uh, from The Mandalorian. Uh, he comes with the child and a backpack. Some great images here. I really like that they've updated the stand um, for the for the bike. Um, they're not those weird triangular ones that we've had in the past. Um, it's just a fantastic looking uh, Scout Trooper repaint. Um, new new speeder bike repaint as well. Looks really good. Um, I'm really excited for this release. I believe it is up for pre-order now on Amazon. I think Australia has sold out, but. Um, yeah, go and have a look. And jumping straight into the uh, long rumored Mando build up pack. A uh, lot of sites have been talking about this one for a long time. It's basically just a, you know, bonus extra accessories pack. Comes with the child, with the pram, um, some Beskar armor plates, and the tracking fob. Um, probably a couple of things would have been nice including this set this would be a soft goods cape and maybe the camtono which uh he carries the credits around in for that for that one episode it does have a removable helmet there's a lot of people that aren't that excited about the likeness of pedro pascal i'm not too fussed about it chance most of most of the time he's going to be displayed with his helmet on anyway so um I think this could be one of those figures that would have been better suited to a switch out head so you could switch with helmet and head um, only because they've sort of molded the head to fit the helmet on afterwards so it's not entirely super amazing but hopefully one day we'll get a we'll get a better looking uh, Din Djarin and I like that they've added the Din Djarin onto the box as well so that's it's not too bad at all um, I've, I've already pre-ordered this set so I'm looking forward to it all right, so very quickly switching gears, we're gonna drop down to three and three quarter inch scale, the vintage collection. Got some pretty cool reveals, um, some that have been rumored, some that are, you know, more or less a surprise. So let's take a look. All right, so here we have the fantastic Moff Gideon on a vintage card, uh, looking absolutely fantastic. I love that card image. A bit closer up would have been nice, but it, uh, it shows Moff Gideon's power. Um, the figure itself is such a really good likeness to um, Giancarlo Esposito. I think they've done a really good job of this figure. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing it in hand. I have pre-ordered this one as well. Um, at first, I thought the Darksaber wasn't going to have any um, extra details on it, but it looks like they've got a white trim around the outside um, on the edges of the blade, so that's a really cool feature. Um, 
yeah, his cape, detailing all the sculpt looks, you know, spot on. Um, yeah, really nice addition to the line. And now we have the stunning looking armorer. Uh, this figure looks like a scaled down version of the Black Series one. And the card art is absolutely stunning. Uh, I just love the yellows and the oranges and the reds and stuff. For, you know, it's a fantastic looking figure. You only need to go back and look at my um, Black Series uh, review of this, this character to see how good she really is. And yeah, they haven't missed a beat with this vintage collection version by the looks of it. Really excited to have this one in the collection. Um, yeah, it looks fantastic. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this one. And now we'll take a look at the video that Hasbro has dropped for the Razor Crest. This thing is looking absolutely incredible. I am just blown away by the amount of details in this thing. Um, I do have some pictures of the uh, Mandalorian exclusive figure that's going to come with it. Um, exclusive in the fact, in the sense that he has a soft goods cape, so he can sit in the chair. Um, he also comes with the child and. Uh, a vac metalized pram so that's pretty cool so i'll stick around to the end of this video this is uh what hasbro put out for us um you can go and see it on their social media sites with sound um i just wanted to get my thoughts in over the top um yeah just some absolutely stunning features to this thing all the interior details blow me away um everything is just I can't believe how good this thing looks. Uh, I know the barge was super impressive and uh, this is going to match that um, in terms of detail, paint quality, all of the above. The weapons rack inside, it looks amazing. Um, all the panels and stuff underneath, they're all they're all cut, painted and colored on the inside. So you're really getting top class quality here with the uh, HasLab uh, Razor Crest. And uh, yeah, to get the Mandalorian, and the child with it, as well as hopefully we can get that 13,000. Uh, there's only about a week and a half left to go, maybe a little bit longer than that, maybe two weeks uh, left to go. And uh, last time I checked, it was just over 12,000 backers. So we need to get to 13,000 to unlock the uh, carbonite blocks that we can hang from this, hang from the roof of this. Um, as you would have seen, the hooks that are movable around in the uh, cargo bay of the Razor Crest. So. Yep, yeah, fantastic details, really amazing looking thing. I can't wait to get it next October. So here is the uh, Mandalorian with the child that is a three and three quarter inch scale, uh, exclusive to the Razor Crest. Um, some pictures of his pram um, on its little base with its lid off. There also appears to be a crate. I'm not sure whether this will come with the Razor Crest or with the child, um, but he can sit in there and look really cute. And uh, here's some images of the child sitting in the uh, pram itself looking super adorable and a couple of little pictures at the end here of him with his cup <laughs> um, I'll, I just he's gonna be so small it's ridiculous to consider how tiny this thing's gonna be sticking with three and three quarter but we're gonna slap a big bright red yellow sticker on it and talk about the uh, retro collection reveals that came out um, I knew about these a couple of weeks ago, but it's uh, only really now that it's been confirmed. So uh, a full wave of retro collection Mandalorian inspired action figures. So let's get to take a look at them one by one. All right, so we'll kick off with the Mandalorian. I'm personally pretty impressed with these figures. I think they look fantastic. Um, they're not replacing the uh, vintage collection as we know it. These are just a little bonus little bonus line for the collectors who want to collect the vintage style stuff well, i think that's really cool um i like the accessories he comes with the cape is a little bit yeah I, I might tell i'll probably end up op opening and taking that cape off but for the rest of the figure it looks pretty damn good i'm i'm looking forward to it so next up we have Carl Weathers as Grief Karga, and they've actually based this figure on his season two appearance, um, based on the fact that you can see he's got this sort of gray goatee where he only had the mustache in the first season. Um, the vinyl cape actually works well on this figure. He's got that sort of flair. Um, it looks pretty damn good. I like I like what they've done with the colors of these figures too. They're all very different and very reminiscent of like the old vintage style figures. Next up, we've got IG-11. He looks fantastic. I really like this one. Uh, nice touch to the fact that he's basically the same as the vintage IG-88, just with the new belt. Um, yeah, just a really, really cool addition. A slightly different change in color with the sort of bronze and, and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, he looks cool. He has spoken. We've got Quill. 
This is an interesting looking one. I'm not sure why they went with the yellow and green uh, for the outfit for Quill. Um, my guess is that they wanted to replicate that sort of vintage style. When you think about Greedo, he's wearing, he's got the two-tone green. You think of uh, Walrus Man, he's got the orange and blue. Um, it's all just a little bit little bit crazy with the colors and uh i think it'll fit well with the rest of the figures all in the same place all having different sort of color tones to them i think i think quill looks kind of cool Kara June is another character that interprets well to vintage style, but even just with the colors alone, she's got the blue. I just spoke about our quill's got yellow and green. Grief cargo has got red. They've all got like these different colors, color styles. And, and uh, I think it transfers really well. The tattoo on her arm looks fantastic. I don't think she's going to have the tattoo on her cheek. I think that's just a tiny little bit too small of a detail. Um, save that for the higher detailed figures like the vintage collection on black series. Um, they wouldn't have done it in the 70s and 80s anyway, so looks good. Moff Gideon again, another fantastic looking interpretation of this character. I think the cape's probably a little bit too big on this one, but it works. Um, you know, you, we can all just twist and you trim it down or something if you don't want it to look that way. Um, but yeah, I think it looks good. Um, probably missing his dark saber a little bit, but... Um, you know, that would have been a cool feature to add um, just as an extra accessory. But he's got his blaster pistol there, which he did use in episode seven of The Mandalorian. So, and uh, it's a pretty good likeness to uh, Giancarlo Esposito as well. And rounding things out, we have the child who comes with a little base, his pram, and the tiniest little frog. This is actually a really cute version of Baby Yoda. I think it's, uh, sorry, the child. I know a lot of, a lot of people don't like calling him Baby Yoda. Um, but this is a really cool looking little figure. I'm, I'm excited for this one as well. And to round out the retro collection, we have the Remnant Stormtrooper, but there is a catch with this one. Um, it is obviously using the same card as we've seen with the red vintage collection retro uh, Stormtrooper. Uh, sorry, Remnant Stormtrooper. <laughs> um, but the catch is you have to buy a board game for this one, as has been with the first two waves of retro collection. This time, probably a little bit more of a family-friendly version of a of a board game, as opposed to re redoing like an old vintage um, board game from the 70s and 80s. But we've got Monopoly. Uh, Monopoly's has been a staple for families for a long time. Um, there is a regular version out of Monopoly right now, so if you want to hold out and get the one with the retro Stormtrooper included, just do that and let the other one sit on shelves. Um, because I did see it the other day and I thought it looked quite cool. But now that I know this, I'm going to hold out and probably get this set at some point too. Um, I know my wife likes playing Monopoly, so we'll, uh, I'll have to beat her ass again at that. So. <laughs> so that wraps up week one of Mando Mondays. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, it was just fun to put it together. So um, yeah, really just wanted to get my thoughts and feedback on some of this new stuff that's coming out. I'm really excited. I've already put in a few pre-orders. Um, hoping that Amazon Australia puts the uh, Scout Trooper with speeder bike back up. Because um, already, they've already either sold out or they something or other. I'm not sure yet. Um, looking forward to ordering... Uh, a white box full case of the uh, retro collection in the coming weeks um, I do have some other things to to cover in the meantime but um, yeah looking forward to ordering that I know Bulletproof Villain have them up for pre-order right now so go check them out um, yeah thank you very much for watching guys I'll be back with some more videos very soon I do have some reviews to come out this week so um, yeah, please hit the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, and I will see you on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you, and this is the way. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.